If you're ready to learn five easy card tricks with gimmicked cards that you make yourself, let's get started. To perform this trick, you're going to need to create a gimmick. You're going to need four queens from a deck and three aces. You're also going to need scissors and you're going to need some glue. So to start, we're going to take three of the queens and cut them diagonally. You'll have three corner queens. Now take three of the aces, use the glue stick, and what you're going to do now is glue the corner, each queen, onto a corner of an ace. Now you're ready to begin the trick. You can go either direction. You have three gimmicked cards that look like this. So let's say we want to turn the three queens, four queens, into the ace. The first part is the display. Now, when you show the card, you can't actually show it like this um, because, now when you show the card, you can't just show it like this because there are corners here that have creases as well as corners on the bottom over here. So when you spread the cards, you need to kind of spread them in an upward fashion like that and cover these seams here with your thumb. Display the cards and now take the ace, place it right behind the queen, remove the queen, now close it and spin it and if you like, a little shake and spreading it in the same way, now you'll show four aces. Let's take it back. Display. Learn to be able to display the cards in this fashion. Cover everything. Remember, you don't want to show the seams and you don't want to show the seams down here. Take the queen, replace the top ace, close it up, give it a spin, and now you can show four queens. For this trick, you're going to need an envelope, three indifferent cards, and we're using queens here, but the key point is that um, you can use any cards that you wish, but two of them have to match. So in this case, I have two queen of spades, a queen of clubs. I like these to be queens or jacks or kings because I think it just uh, plays a little better, and three indifferent cards. And you'll need scissors and you'll need some glue. Taking your scissors, you're going to cut right along here a thin strip. Now take your matching cards. I happen to be using the Queen of Spades here. And what you're going to do is glue the Queen of Spades back to back. So you now have a gimmick card with a queen of spades on both sides. Now on one side of this gimmick card, you're now going to glue these strips 
from the other playing cards in a peculiar way. Glue one there. Next one there, last one. Let it dry, and you have a gimmick card that looks like this. Once again, a queen of spades, back to back, and you have three parts of a card there. And the secret to the whole thing is that when you hold another real card on top, it looks like you're displaying five cards, but you only have two. Now let's get to the explanation of the trick. Line up your cards and you're ready to perform the trick. Show your five cards. Just point out that you have the two queens that are going to perform some magic for the spectator. Fold the cards up, place them inside of the envelope, and now for the magic. Turn the envelope over, snap your finger, and then you're going to remove a couple cards. You're gonna remove the queen of spades, but what the spectators don't know is that when you turned over the envelope, you turned over the gimmick card, and on the back is something that looks like this. That's the secret. So you take out the queen, take out the other queen, and then you can show the envelope is empty, you can tear it up, have the spectre examine it, and the cards, the three other cards have vanished. Two queens, couple other cards, goes into an envelope. Magic. Move a queen. Move a second queen. What's left in the envelope? Absolutely nothing. For this trick, you're going to need to make a gimmicked set of cards. What you'll need is four cards that are identical and four cards that are different. You're now going to glue one card from this set onto the back of this one in a special way. Get some glue and only glue, rub the glue on the bottom half of the card and then place this card on top and glue it on the bottom. Something I'm doing during this construction is I'm actually not lining them up on the bottom or the top. I'm letting this top card just extend just a tad here, which I think will assist with the trick. Now repeat with all of the cards. What you end up with are four gimmick cards that look fairly ordinary. But the difference is when you pull the flap on the top, it shows a different card. And each card is the same. Now you're ready to perform the trick. Have all the open sides in the same direction. You hold the cards in your hand and then you pull back and display the top card, saying four diamonds in this case. Place the card somewhere in the middle or even on the bottom. Give it a shake and magically the card rises to the top. One more time, we'll place it actually at the bottom. Give it a shake and you'll see the card rises to the top. Finally, we'll place it in the middle and we're just going to give it a shake and a spin at this point and everyone's amazement 
The card has vanished. And if you have another four of diamonds, you can place it in your pocket and show that uh, one card changed into another one and the four of diamonds vanished from the pack. And we got another card, the four of diamonds. Four of diamonds goes second from the bottom. Give it a shake and the four of diamonds returns. One more time, four of diamonds goes near the middle. Give it a shake and there you have it, the four of diamonds. But let's place this in the middle here. This time I'm going to give it a spin and check it out. The four of diamonds has mysteriously vanished. For this trick, you're going to need four playing cards and you're going to be creating a gimmick. Now, I always think it's good to have contrasting cards here. So you'll notice I have the two black nines and then I have a part of a jack. This, in this case, a jack of diamonds. It's nice to have numbered cards versus a face card for contrast. And what you're going to do is uh, cut the different card in half. And then you're ready to construct your gimmick. Now what you do is take one of the cards. Um, you'll also notice I have a two of diamonds. And this one will play a different role, as you'll see in the trick itself. But I want the red, red two of diamonds to be different from these two cards, as well as different from this, which is why I picked a number card. Now let's construct our gimmick. You're going to take your half card, flip it over, and place it about a quarter of the way down on the card. Take a piece of tape, and now you're going to tape right there. And what you've created is a flap. And with your gimmick in hand, you're ready to perform the trick. Here's the setup. You take your fourth card, in this case the two of diamonds, and you tuck it under the half card. And one more card goes in the front. Now you're ready to perform the trick. You show the three cards, you talk about the three card Monty, there's two cards and one that's different, they have to follow the different card. You reach and pull out the middle card and then you show the other two remaining cards and then ask them what the card is and you show them that it's the two of diamonds to their surprise. So let's talk a little bit about the technique. First of all, the setup, once again, the reveal card goes under here. And this other card goes on top, the one that complements the first card. So you show it. Now what I like to do is I like to grab the whole packet and turn it around. Now at this point, you're going to remove the middle card. Now you can't show these cards because it looks like this at this point. So that's the reason why in the... Just, re just uh, in, during the um, explanation, I probably used my hand to push this card up. You can actually use the other card to just go like this. And now you can show these two cards, and it looks quite innocent. And finally, you do the big reveal, and you have your three-card Monty. Have you heard of the three-card Monty? Three cards, two black cards, and one red card. That's the money card. You have to follow the card. Here we go. Just going to turn it around here. And in fact, I will even show you the other two cards. Do you remember what this card is? If you said the two of diamonds, you are correct. For your gimmick, you're going to need two playing cards. Take one of the cards and fold it in half this way, lengthwise. But what I want you to do is not fold it straight, but fold it at a slight angle, just like that. This will assist you later when you perform the trick. Take some glue and place it on half of the card. And now you're going to simply glue this half onto 
the other playing card. Line it up on one side and you'll have a card that looks fairly normal when you hold it like this, but when you need to, you can open this up and it creates a flap, which is the secret to the trick. Now, when I had you make the gimmick, I asked you to fold the card in an oblique off-center manner. And the reason why is that the longer edge here will work to your advantage. First of all, it's a little more stable because it's longer. Second part is it's actually a little shorter than the front. And that allows the card to lean back just a little bit, which assists with the trick. So here's how to perform the trick. You can show the card and then you show the cup. And as you show the cup, take your finger, thumb, fingers and thumb, Rest the cup on top and you'll find that it balances. And to end the trick, show the card and the cup. Well, I hope you have fun performing these card tricks for your friends and family. Please give us a like and please subscribe for more instructional magic videos in the future. Thank you for watching. See you next time.